Welcome to the next session on infinite series. In this session, we will be discussing properties of convergent series. Till now, we have studied what is a series, what is meant by convergence of a series, geometric series, harmonic series and divergence test. And in this session, we will study properties of convergent series. So, Suppose sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n is equal to capital A and sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n is equal to capital B. So sigma a n and sigma b n are two convergent series which converges to capital A and capital B respectively and c is some real number. Then sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c a n is convergent. So a n is the general term of sigma a n. We are multiplying every a n with c and adding up them and we got a new sequence, no se new series. So sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c a n. This series is convergent and its sum sigma n equal to 1 to infinity c a n is equal to c into summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n and summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n is capital A. So this is equal to c capital A and we have sigma a n and sigma b n both are convergent then sigma a n plus b n is convergent and sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n plus b n can be written as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n so that this is equal to a plus b. Now let's use the uh, these results to do the um, sum of certain series. But we have to note that only when this uh, sigma a n and sigma b n are convergent we can apply these two results only when they are convergent we can apply these results okay so consider this problem here i will call this as c n so i will take c n what is c n 2 by n into n plus 1 minus 4 by 3 power n okay now I will denote this as a n minus b n okay what is a n then 2 by n into n plus 1 is a n and uh, 4 by 3 power n is b n or I will do one thing I will write 2 by n into n plus 1 as 2 a n ok so sigma c n is equal to sigma 2 a n minus b n only when sigma a n and sigma b n are convergent so sigma n uh, first I will check sigma whether sigma a n is convergent or not so here my a n is 1 by n into n plus 1 ok a n is 1 by n into n plus 1 and we have already discussed the convergence of this series 1 by n into n plus 1 can be written as 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 using partial fraction then um, first I will write the nth partial sum sn sn will telescope into 1 by sorry 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 we have seen it already and this will converge to 1 as n tends to infinity ok because as n goes to infinity this 1 by n plus 1 will go to 0 so that 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 will go to 1. Now 
we will discuss sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 2 by n into n plus 1. So, 2 is a common factor here I can take it outside. So, this is equal to 2 times summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n into n plus 1 and sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n into n plus 1 is obtained as 1 so that this sum is 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 ok now we will consider the next sequence here we have the next sequence as our bn is 4 by 3 power n so summation n equal to 1 to infinity 4 by 3 power n it is equal to 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 square plus 4 by 3 cube plus etc ok this is a geometric series and the first term of the series is I will denote it as a a is equal to 4 by 3 if a is equal to 4 by 3 then what about the common ratio the common ratio r is equal to 1 by 3 and it is less than 1 if r is equal to 1 by 3 then absolute value of r is again 1 by 3 and it is less than 1 if the uh, common ratio absolute value of the common ratio is less than 1 then the geometric series converges so this geometric series is convergent then if a geometric series is convergent then we know that its sum is equal to a by 1 minus r what is a by 1 minus r here it is 4 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 which is 4 by 3 divided by 2 by 3 which is 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. So, sum of the second series is obtained as 2 that means summation n equal to 1 to infinity 4 by 3 power n is 2 ok now this is our given, given series summation n equal to 1 to infinity 2 by n into n plus 1 minus 4 by 3 power n now I can split this into 2 this is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity 2 by n into n plus 1 minus summation n equal to 1 to infinity 4 by 3 power n and the first sum is obtained as 2 the second sum is also obtained as 2 so the given series converges to 0 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 so we can apply properties of convergent series to find sum of some complicated the sum of some complicated series ok so by this problem I am concluding this session and we will discuss or we will continue our discussion on infinite series in our next session till then take care all the best